This clip, we had just arrived in Rome two hours before, and so everyone got cleaned up and we went immediately to the Colosseum, which was three blocks from our hotel, and prepared to go on their tour of the inside of the Colosseum. We always go to Rome to start off with to really be anchored in the ancient Roman civilization and to see that influence on the Renaissance. It was so great to see history come alive at the Colosseum. Yay! <laughs> I took the May term course because I didn't want to be gone from school for, for that long, but I still wanted to experience a new culture. And so we had about a week and a half worth of class, class time learning, so we knew all about the Renaissance in Italy. Um, paintings, architecture, sculpture, readings, literature. We focused on all of these different areas so that when we would travel to these different cities and have different tour guides, we would be knowledgeable about the information that they were giving us. So we were then in Italy for about 18 days experiencing the culture that we learned about firsthand. I went to Italy basically because my entire family is Italian and I've only been there when I was four years old so I wanted to revisit it and like look at, look at the culture, learn everything about how it came to be. So this is Galileo's tomb and the students, many of the students in, on, on the trip were science majors and so they found that very interesting. Also when we went to the top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, they were interested in the fact that Galileo used that for his, for his experiments with gravity. That was by far my favorite tour. And then going up there, taking all the pictures and stuff, it was just unbelievable. It, that was definitely the best tour. I had never had a class with Professor Sheridan before, before May term. I had heard about him because my friends had taken lots of classes with him, so I knew he was really knowledgeable on the subject. But it wasn't until we had that first week of classes here at Illinois Wesleyan that I realized how passionate he was about the subject. There happened to be an exposition of by Ferrari. Anybody who owned a Ferrari would drive through the streets there and it was kind of a special event yeah. and the students, it kind of, they're interested in the new as well as in the old and, and why not? I mean the cars are beautiful and it's part of, it's part of the, um, you know, the national heritage. I try to put those touristy experiences within the context of something that's more um, academically rigorous. It was only like a regular May term class, but he let us sign a petition to make it for a global diversity credit too. So it related really well to like our curriculum that we needed. And we learned a lot from the experience, which I mean, we learn a lot in all the Wesleyan classes. So, As part of my course, the students have to do a research paper. We again, have to do a lot of reading. Um, they, they have to do a lot of uh, background research prior to leaving, but while, while they're there, the students have to complete travel journals. And I'm always amazed that the students continually write essentially the same things. They talk about how travel uh, during May term is a life-changing event. And so this last time, when I traveled this last May, I asked my students, well, what, what do you mean when you say it's changed your life? probably the one thing that students often say is the most important thing that they learned from the trip. It's not just the content, which is great. It's not just loving Italy. It's not just seeing the beautiful sights. It's actually finding out about yourself. And I mean, that really is at the heart of the educational pursuit. Finding out something basic about human nature and actually human civilization, and then also making that real for you.